conversations over coffee, sewing conversations over coffee this morning and it's really good to be back in the studio this morning. It's not quite as cold out so I've been able to come up here and do my little video. So welcome back everyone. Thank you to everyone who's new on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe as well so you can see when my videos pop up in your news feeds. So this morning I was thinking what do I want to come on and speak to you guys about and I, I wanted to speak to you about fabric but I'm going to save that because I've been doing loads of online shopping recently and I've been stocking up on some fabric stash for my winter make so they haven't all arrived so when they do I'm then going to come on and show you all. So this morning the conversation I thought we could talk about is sewing machine feet. So the inspiration for this this morning is I held a final workshop this week in the studio so we made a a gorgeous, oh, I'm trying to look for it, it's over there, I can't reach it. We made a vinyl fold up pouch in my sewing studio in a workshop, which I love, it's one of my favorite things. And actually, let me get it, because I store all of my sewing machine essentials in there. One minute. This is what we made, this little fold up pouch, and it's got vinyl pockets in here with little zips. And I use it to store all of my sewing machine feet, um, and tools, my needles and things, um, my screwdriver, cleaning tools, all those sorts of things. And it's perfect for that. It's really fab. It's one of my favourite things that I've made um, for a workshop. So I love teaching this as well. It's a fab little project. There's loads of different skills in there. But we use vinyl. Now we do use our standard sewing machines to sew it and we can sew with our standard sewing machine feet because most of the vinyl, well all of it in fact, when we're sewing is enclosed in fabric. So when we apply the zips and everything is already enclosed in fabric top and bottom. So the vinyl then doesn't sort of get stuck on our sewing machines. But I was also thinking, you know, once people learn to do this, they may then want to go on and, you know, try some other projects using vinyl or oil cloth or something of that sort. So there's some different feet that you may need to purchase or you might have in your sewing essentials and kits now that you haven't used before. Um, so I thought I would go through this morning and show you some of the, my favourite sewing machine feet um, that I use at the moment and I have used recently that help me with my sewing and also help me sort of be a bit more adventurous with what I'm sewing and how I'm doing the techniques with the different sewing projects I'm doing. And I've done a few videos previously, a few weeks ago, using some different sort of sewing tools on my sewing machine. So I'll pop a link up here for a recent one using one of the feet that I'm going to show you first so you can follow along and have a go if you want to. So one of the first feet that I've used really recently and sort of revolutionised my hemming, shall we say, is my um, blind hem foot. So that's this little one here. So recently I had to hem my son's school trousers back to school time. His school trousers, really annoyingly, we have to buy the actual school ones and they come unhemmed. So they're really long and you have to hem them up to the length of your child's leg, which is fine. And I normally do it by hand and I find that really tedious and boring job. I just don't like doing it. So I thought this time I would have a go at using my blind hem foot, which is this little one here. It's got kind of like, I don't know if you can see, like a little springy bit almost here, a little guide. Um, it sort of wraps over the top. And there's a couple of different variations of, of foot. You, it might look slightly different yours if you've got one of these. It's not a standard foot you'd get with every machine, so you might not have this or have seen it before. But for me, I thought I'm going to give it a go. It's not the most straightforward process to follow, but I have got this video that you can follow along. Link is above. And it just made it so easy, so easy. I just hemmed this pair of trousers in like five minutes and it was done once I'd sort of practiced the technique. So that was this fab little foot. So I'm not saying that you would use this all the time, but if you do find that you um, do a lot of alterations, maybe you do do a lot of hemming, either trousers or curtains or anything like that, then this would be a great little addition to have in your sewing toolbox. So that is a blind hem foot. Um, yes, fab little tool that I've used recently. Thank God I practiced it and it's, it's now changed my visions or my thoughts of hemming trousers. Thank God. Yes. So that's that first one. I don't use that very often, of course, and I've only started using it recently. So that might not be something you want to invest in straight away unless you particularly do a lot of that type of project. But some of the things you might want to have a go at. So going back to my vinyl, 
this one to help you sew vinyl. So if you want to sew some alternative fabrics, and in my workshops, I really like trying alternative fabrics. So um, vinyls, oilcloths, felts, um, the sort of faux levers and those types of things, corks, you might need some alternative feet to help you do that on your standard sewing machine. And there's a couple of different options you can go for, which are really good investments if you like to sew more creative sewing and they don't have to cost you a fortune. So I'm also gonna put a link in the comments to my Amazon affiliate shop. So I've got a storefront on there and in that storefront, I've got sort of a wish list of sewing equipment and tools and all sorts of gorgeous things that I have bought, tried and tested or would like to buy, try and test, all from suppliers that have got a good reputation, good service, and the products are of a high quality. So you can visit that shop and see what I'm using day to day, sewing wise, see what I've used from Amazon previously and how it's helped me with my sewing. So it's a great way to get some ideas and also not have to trawl the internet to find what you're looking for. So these are in there. So I'll put the link in the comments for you guys to go and check out what I've been using in my sewing. But the things that I would suggest that you could invest in for using on vinyls, oilcloths and those types of things if you want to sort of venture out and try some alternative sewing materials are either a walking foot which is this one here or a teflon foot um, which is used it's sort of almost like a plastic foot um, and it helps glide across the vinyl or oilcloth much easier so it doesn't get stuck on your sewing machine and the same with the walking foot it will walk the fabric through so it makes it much easier this one I, I reckon probably works the best on oilcloth this one is really great for thicker fabrics not just oilcloths and, and vinyls but it really helps with that as well and these are both universal feet so these were bought from Amazon they've been tried and tested they're universal feet they work brilliantly and they don't cost a fortune so of course you can buy the foot to you know go with your actual sewing machine which is absolutely fine of course but if you're just starting out and you just want to have a try then there is absolutely no harm and shame in just spending a lot less and getting something that's universal to most machines most newer machines um, that you can have a play around with and not feel like you've spent loads of money on something you're not going to use all the time. And if you do start using it all the time, then of course you can invest in the one that goes with your machine, which is probably going to last longer, well, for the walking foot and maybe sort of be um, a bit more hard wearing. So these two little guys, I think they were like, I can't quite remember, five or six pounds probably each so again they're not going to bust the bank um, and you can have a play and you can have a go with alternative fabrics so yeah let me know if you've had a play with different fabrics before what you think of them and do you guys use these what do you use these for the walking foot is particularly good for quilting for woolen fabrics um, any type of fabric that's much thicker, that's got a different sort of pile on it that you're struggling to get through on your normal sewing, sewing foot, the walking foot is amazing for. And again, depending on the machine you've got, you may have got one of these with your sewing machine and it might look slightly different to this one here. But this is a universal one. It came in like a little box, just like this. Um, yeah, and it works brilliantly. It works on most of the machines that I've attempted to use it on here, Brother, Singer, Toyota, Juki, a, a fit of this on. So as long as the machine isn't really, really old, so the ones that it doesn't fit on so well is if you have to put your feet on, well, it doesn't fit on with the little screws. You take the whole foot arm off of your machine. It's not going to fit on that. It has to have a fixed arm. So, so they're great little feet to add to your sewing tools to really help you think about sewing alternative fabrics. So I've got both of these, obviously, you can see and I've been using these quite regularly for sewing different fabrics. So these are a great little purchase. So let me know if you've used these before and yeah, find the link in my comments below. The other thing, the other feet that I love using that I use a lot, one's on my sewing machine, I'm just gonna take it off, are this one here, which is a wide foot to, um, wide prong foot. 
and this one is for particularly embroidery so you've got this bigger gap in between the front here so you can really see what stitches you're doing I love this I love doing machine applique so it really helps me with that so I can follow the line of my fabric that I'm appliqueing on really easily in that wide gap but it's also really good for top stitching as well so I find that I find it much easier to follow the edge of my sewing or the hem or whatever it is I'm following for the top stitch I find it much easier with this wide tooth wide prong um, sewing machine foot so I love this one this came with my sewing machine but again you could purchase these online just universal ones are absolutely fine and if you're into sort of creative sewing again this is going to be a godsend it's so much easier to be able to see what you're sewing in that wide foot there and not have that enclosed it just gives you more visual you know you're able to visualize what you're doing and see it much more clearly so I love this I use this most of the time now on my sewing machine rather than my standard sewing machine foot let me just show you the difference actually let me just find my other sewing machine foot my standard one if it's in here let me have a look oh here's my standard one so that's my standard sewing machine foot and this is my little applique one um, which I use most of the time. Oh! I'm throwing away. This is my little applique one that I use most of the time now. So you can see the difference there. You haven't got all of this um, metal or plastic, whatever your feet are made of here. So you've You've got a much better viewing sort of hole there to follow whatever you're sewing and really good for the fancy stitches as well so you can sort of see where you're going so that one i love that i use all the time so definitely if you like doing creative sewing or if you're doing a lot of top stitching i find this really really helpful the other foot I find really helpful that you may have is also a clear foot so this one here it's got a wider viewing um it's got a wider hole at the front here where your needle goes in so it's really good for um again your creative stitches zigzags any of the the longer stitches you might do the deeper stitches but i love that it's got made out of this clear plastic so again you're able to view what you're sewing much easier than if you use a foot that is you know enclosed in metal so these two i particularly love this is the one i use all the time but i love them both so a plastic foot that's see-through that you can see where you're sewing i find just makes it much easier to follow an edge or a hem when you're doing a top stitch and much better for creative of sewing but let me know below what you think you know have you tried different feet to help you are you getting stuck with things as well so are you getting stuck with doing top stitch and do you like doing that do you find it hard to sew in a straight line have you tried alternative feet have you got any in your sewing kit as well let me know below and if you've got some feet in your sewing kit that you don't know what they're for drop me a comment and I'll you know have a look and I'll tell you what you could use it for but yeah, they're some of my favourites. And then the other thing that I find really helpful as well is this little number. Now this actually came off of an old machine, my nan's machine. She had an old singer that I had years ago when I was young um, that I don't use anymore. And this was one of the feet that came off it. So again, it's not specific for my sewing machine, but I can use it on my sewing machine. So it just clips. I take my whole arm off on this one and it sort of screws on the side. And this little zipper foot here is amazing it's perfect for doing piping which i do a lot of so we do piped cushions and things in the workshops that i hold and we do the lovely trail tote bags as well on my academy which have a piped edge and this is perfect for piping it gets really really close and it's also perfect for sewing on invisible zips as well so the difference with this than a normal um, zipper foot so there's my normal zipper foot you can see this one sort of comes out of the side you can't get quite as close so these little skinny ones are brilliant for getting much closer to the teeth. So visible, it zips. You almost need one of these to be able to get it nice and close and make it neat, but perfect for piping as well. And again, you could buy universal ones of these. You don't have to buy it specific to your machine. If you're just wanting to try it out and you don't want to spend a lot of money, you don't have to. You can buy alternative sewing machine feet and they work just as good when you're sort of having a playing around and trying different things out. So that's some of my favourite sewing machine feet that I'm using at the moment. I'm loving trying out all the different ones. I've got quite a few with my sewing machine. I haven't tried them all out yet. 
but I do particularly love these ones. I find them really useful. I love sewing with different fabrics and things. I love the creative side of sewing and with my sort of dressmaking that I'm doing more of now, I'm making much more time for my dressmaking, which is lovely. I'm trying different techniques out and different skills as well. So let me know in the comments below what sewing machine feet you most like on your sewing machine or do you not try any of them? Do you just use your standard one? Let me know and have you got any in your sewing machine kit that you have no idea what they're for? If you're able, pop me a picture below and I'll jump in and let you know what you could be sewing with them. And if there's some on there that I've never used before, I'll give them a go. I'll see if I've got them in my kit and I'll give them a go and practice and share with you as well so you can all have a go at experimenting with what you've got with your sewing machine and really getting the most from them so what my aim for is to get the most out of my sewing machine see what it can really do for me and really get sort of more creative with the sewing and the techniques that I'm using so and I want to share that with you guys too so let me know below I hope that's been helpful and hopefully you may have some of those feet you haven't tried before and this will inspire you to have a go um, and if you want to have a look at all the other gorgeous sewing tools that I've been using, then head down to my comments and check out my Amazon shop. And I will see you all again very soon. Hopefully my fabric stash will arrive in the next couple of days and I can come on and show you the gorgeous fabric stash. But until then, thank you so much for joining me. Good morning and enjoy your coffee and have a play with your sewing machine and see what it can do for you. It's definitely worth it and it will inspire you to make something new, I promise. So let me know how you get on, and until next time, I'll see you soon.